Hey guys, how you going? Hope you're all having a fantastic evening. Tonight I've got a DVD update for you all, so hopefully you find a few new titles here. Two of the films are not subtitled, they're in English, but the rest of them are foreign. So hopefully you find this interesting and maybe pick up a few new titles that you may not have heard of. So this is a mixture between my local pickups in my local DVD store and the Amazon UK order that I've just made with my uh, gift card that I got for Christmas. So I just recently purchased this order and it finally arrived today, so I thought I'll do one while I have the time. So we're going to start off with a TV show. This is an American horror um, TV show directed by Frank Darabont, and no wonder it's so good. And um, This is called The Walking Dead. You all know about this one. Just a really, really uh, thrilling sort of horror uh, TV series, and you don't get many like that. So I actually saw this from a downloaded copy, but I finally uh, was able to get myself an official release. This is the UK version, uh, the UK edition, because the one in Australia was way too expensive, so I was a lot cheaper on Amazon UK, so I ordered it, really happy to get it, and I'll be no doubt watching it again very, very soon. Next up, we have a British thriller. Now, this kind of reminded me of a rock climbing film called High Lane. Now, obviously, it's different from that. It's not so much a horror film, more of a thriller, but it does promise a lot because it's from a very good director who directed a film called Rise of the Foot Soldier, um, uh, Julian Gilby, and this movie is called A Lonely Place to Die. This is a very new film. It actually hasn't been released in Australia yet, so I saw it on Amazon. It was a, it was a decent price. It wasn't overly you know, cheap. But this promises a lot, and I'm really looking forward to it. I love films that are set. I have a fear of heights, so I love films that really um, get you into that sort of uh, mood where, uh, you know, you kind of get vertigo after watching it. So this one promises a lot. I'm really hoping it delivers, um, especially because the director I'm such a fan of. Now we go to Denmark. This is a trilogy of Danish mafia movies. Um, this is called The Pusher Trilogy. It also has a documentary which is really interesting. I'm going to review this very soon, so I'm not going to tell you about it, but it basically comes in a four-disc set. As I said, Pusher, Pusher 2, blood, With Blood on My Hands, and Pusher 3, I'm the Angel of Death. All four, no, all three films plus a documentary for $28, a really, really good um, deal. And so, yeah, if you like your gangster films, then definitely get this one just to um, see, you know, something a little bit different in the gangster genre. This is a French thriller made by the same guy who made Anything For Her, who uh, basically inspired the remake called The Next Three Days. This is another thriller, but a lot different to that, and this is called Point Blank. Love my French horror slash thrillers, so this one promises once again to be really good. I'm really um, holding high expectations for this, so um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Now I have to say that this spot on my face is not a pimple, it's actually me not being able to shave properly, so uh, if you're wondering what it was then you know. Uh, this is another French film starring Vincent Cassel and uh, Oliver Barthelemy, Barthelemy, I think. Uh, this is called Our Day Will Come, comes in a nice little slipcase. This is not so much a horror film, it's supposed to be a fairly disturbing ride. I'm really looking forward to it, I'm a big fan of Vincent Cassel, so... Uh, French cinema, this promises a lot. Let's just put this back in its casing. Hope I don't ruin the goddamn DVD. No, I haven't. So, um, I just really don't want to. I like getting those slip cases, and I'm really, you know, paranoid about ruining them. So, these are films that, well, these next two are South Korean films. Except, in fact, the next. Yeah, the next three are South Korean films. This is one I picked up today in a local DVD store called Attack the Gas Station. Hadn't heard too much about this, but it actually looks really good, so um, I'll be no doubt sharing my views on it. Next up, a South Korean pig movie called Chore. I love uh, wild pig movies, I don't know why. I'm not attracted to them or anything, but um, yeah, just really menacing sort of creatures. So I'm looking forward to seeing what South Korea can deliver. Hopefully it's a better effort than Pig Hunt, but I don't think it's going to be as good as Prey or Razorback, but I have high expectations. South Korea really makes some good stuff, so um, yeah, hopefully they can do something good with that. The next one is a two-disc version of Save the Green Planet. I've been told this is a very brutal funny and emotional kind of film. South Korea is really delivering lately, so I'm hoping that this one's going to be no different. And we've got two more. Uh, this one is called Tony Monero, 
This is a Chilean horror film about a man who is obsessed with Saturday Night Fever, John Travolta. He is a John Travolta impersonator of that uh, of that movie, and he basically doesn't like the competition that he's getting, so he turns into a serial killer. So, very very unique sort of synopsis, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what a horror movie from Chile can produce. I also this was also a recommendation, well not so much a recommendation, but I saw this on Magnus uh, Vault Keeper 2's channel and I thought you know definitely want to get that one so he pointed me in the right direction Magnus points a lot of people in the good directions for films so if you want some good recommendations I'll leave a link in the description below this guy certainly knows his films and also Save the Green Planet was an actual recommendation from him so if they're bad I have somebody to blame and the last but not least, this is a sexual kind of film, but I didn't get it. I'm not a pervert, so I didn't get it for that. I just got it for the very bizarre atmosphere, plus I'm a big fan of cinema from this country. It's a film from Serbia, and this is called Tears for Sale. Now, this is $37 here in Australia, and I got this for about $4, including shipping. So that's an absolute travesty. What are you doing, Australia? That is just ridiculous. You're robbing us blind. And it's an absolute disgrace, but thank God Amazon UK are selling these films for a reasonable price. So a lot of ex expectations for this. I love my bizarre, uh, bizarre, bizarre cinema, so I've got high expectations for this one. I'll be letting you guys know exactly what it's like. <coughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I've got a sore throat. I'm just coughing all the time. Anyway, that's my update. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got a few new films in there. I might not be getting too many DVDs over the next month or two because I have a very special person and I'm going to be with her for quite some time. So I'll be spending money on other things. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, I'll be around. I'll be doing reviews. But as far as DVD updates go, I just have to save my money for this particular person who is very very special to me so I'm really looking forward to that uh, I'll stop crapping on it uh, any further yeah these are the DVDs that I got hopefully you enjoyed this video I know I'm talking like a maniac but that's just me so um, yeah until next time take care of yourselves have a great day stay safe keep watching films and I'll see you later